And now, a minute from our conservation partner, the Bonefish and Tarpon Trust. My name is Dr. Andy Danilchuk, and I'm an associate professor of fish conservation at the University of Massachusetts at Amherst, and I'm also a BTT research fellow. There are two ways in which fish populations in different locations can be connected, either through the migration of their juveniles and adults, or through the transport of their larvae in the ocean currents after they spawn. A way that we track the movement patterns of tarpon is through this cool technology, uh, acoustic telemetry. Acoustic telemetry uses these really neat uh, receivers that we put around the ocean. Uh, we, we moor them on the ocean floor and they have a battery and they have some memory and they also have this little transducer and when a tarpon that's tagged with an acoustic transmitter um, swims by, this receiver records the data, stores it, and then periodically we download these receivers and, and then analyze the data. There are over 4,000 of these receivers out there that are, are helping us understand the movement patterns of Atlantic tarpon. The transmitters, what's neat about them is that they're relatively small. These little things here, um, we surgically implant them into the tarpon. Uh, they recover very well, and because they're so small, we can put them in tarpon that are about 10 pounds and, and, and up. So we can put them also in the beasts too. With these transmitters, they have a five-year battery life. So we can actually track the same individual from season to season to see if there's consistency from one year to the next, or maybe there's a diversity in the movement patterns for the same individual. We're actually seeing some really, really amazing results um, that are critical for how we really take care of the Silver King, not only for us to continue to enjoy, but also for future generations of anglers. To learn more and to make your voice heard, visit BTT.org.